Hey there everyone, today I'm going to show you two techniques I use to convert or to roll up monthly cash flows to an annual cash flow. And what I'm meaning by that really is uh, here I've modeled out through other modules base rent, expense reimbursements, other income, and they're coming through as monthly values. And I want to then sum up these monthly values into annual values that I can summarize on an annual cash flow statement. And the two techniques I do I, I use to do this are uh, I use a sum if function that's one, and then the second is using a combination of a sum function and an offset function together. So let's get started. I'll show you with sum if. In order to do this, the roll up cash flows using a sum if, I'll need to set up first my monthly cash flow statement so that there is a row that shows what year a given cash flow is assigned to. So for instance, month three would be in year one, month 13 would be in year two. And to do that, I use a round up. It's a simple, a simple formula. I go round up the month divided by 12, rounded to zero. And what this does, uh, it's kind of a, a funny workaround, but it, the result is it tells you what year you can test it with yourself. Each month is each one of these months are in, right? And so, of course, month seven is year one, month seventeen is year two, and so forth. So that's the first step. The next step is on our cash flow uh, statement. I want to be sure that the items that we are rolling up are are in the exact same order and the same distance in terms of rows up and down from one another. So I'm just going to simply come over here to my labels on the monthly cash flow. I'm going to copy them with a control C. Come over here in the exact same location. I'll hit, use a control V and I'll paste these labels down, right? And this this is going to allow us to write one formula, get the absolute and relative references correctly in that formula, and then it's just a matter of copying over and down and we'll be done. So now let's write the formula. We're going to start out month one of our first item, and we're going to type in sum if open parentheses. Then Excel asks us for the range. Well, the range that we're looking for here is the year on the monthly cash flow statement. And so we come over here to this row that we built with the roundup, and we start with month the year of month one, and then we're just going to copy all the way over. I'm going to use a control shift right and it's going to copy all the way over. and we're going to select or make a reference to all of these years, right? And once that's there, we are going to lock in or we're going to make both the row and the column absolute references hitting F4. And we have the range. We hit comma and then Excel asks, asks us for the criteria. Well, the criteria that we're that we're searching for is the year itself on this annual cash flow. So at, that is this value here, right? And the idea is as we copy to the right, this value will move to the right. But as we copy down, this value will stay within this row. And that means we're going to make the row absolute reference, or the number an absolute reference, and we're going to make the column or the letter uh, a relative reference. And to do that, we hit F4 one two times. That leaves a dollar sign to the left of the number, but no dollar sign to the left of the letter. And now we have our criteria. Finally, it asks for the sum range. Well, the sum range obviously is the sum of values that we want to pick up in that given year. So we're just going to come back to the very beginning. Uh, again, base rental revenue, month one. We take this using a control shift right arrow we're going to select that entire range of values from month one all the way to the very end, month 192 in this case. And we are going to make the columns absolute. That way when we're copying to the right, it will not move to the right. But we want to make the rows, uh, when we're copying down, relative. And to do that, we hit F4, one, two, three times so that the dollar sign is to the left of the letter, but no dollar sign to the left of the number. We hit shift zero to close parentheses, hit enter, and we have the value. It was correct. And that's as simple as using a sum above, and this is just 
an air check, if you will. And we're just going to manually sum up 1 through 12, hit enter, and it is in fact correct. So with this formula built, with our absolute and relative references correctly done, it's just a matter of copying to the right, copying down, and there it is. Just some last cleanup stuff. We're just going to delete anything in, right, these are uh, empty cells. We'll just go ahead and delete those to make it look clean. And there we go. Rolling up monthly cash flows to annual cash flows using SUMIF. The second technique I use is a combination of a sum and an offset. Now, if you recall from some other tutorials we've done, the offset function uh, returns a cell or a range of cells that are a specified number of rows and columns from a cell or a range of cells. And that sounds complicated, but it's not. And when you, when you combine that with a sum, it does the exact same thing as the sum if, only it doesn't require you to build this row, uh, this year row on your monthly cash flow. In fact, it doesn't even require you to have any heading at all. You just need to have your cash flows uh, lined up in the proper order, and then it'll just simply, based on uh, the formula, right, we'll just simply uh, uh, sum up those cash flows for the years that you want. I'll show you what I mean by that. In order to do that first, though, we need to, as we did with the sum if, build our annual cash flow so that the titles are the same. And again, that's more so when we're copying over and down, it's done quickly and, and cleanly. Next, we'll write our formula in the first cell of the first item in first year. So we type sum, open parentheses, offset, open parentheses. And so what we're doing is we're summing a range that we'll be referencing via this offset function. And the range that we're going to be referencing is built in this in this fashion. So uh, the offset Excel asks for the start reference. Okay, this is the first cell from which the range uh, is you know identified or or, uh, or referenced or specified, and that is going to be we come to the monthly cash flow. That's just our first month of the first item, and in this case we want to make the column absolute, but the row relative. And we do that by hitting F4, one, two, three times, comma. And then it asks, from this reference cell, in, in this case right now, how far, how many rows down or up do we want to move? Well, in this case, we don't want to move any. We're, we're going to be summing simply to the right, and we're going to be summing 12, 12 cells to the right, a certain number of cells to the right. So we're not going to be moving any rows, so we just hit zero. Then it asks, how many columns do we want to move to the right? Well, it depends. So let's come back to our annual cash flow. For year one, we don't want to move any to the right, right? We want, we want to take that, we want to start from there and we want to add everything 12 cells, including that, that reference cell to the right. And so what we do here, we're going to write a formula first, open parentheses. We're going to select the year that we'll be, at, well, that we'll be summing. And then we're going to lock in as an absolute reference the row, leaving the column relative by hitting F4 one two times. Right. And then we're going to do minus one. Why minus one? Well, because if we do one, and you'll see it in a minute, it'll actually move us over one year and we would be summing year Two. And so we just simply do the year we're in, we subtract one, we close parentheses, and then here's the trick to this, we multiply it by 12. And what we're saying is we're, gonna, we're going to be jumping in 12s. Year one will be 12 over times zero, one, uh, year one minus one. Year two will be 12 times two minus one, or 12 to the right, and we'll be summing everything 12 to the right and over. And so forth, all the way out to 16. And then we hit comma, and it asks this 
uh, this range, how high is it? How many cells high? Well, it's one cell high. It's just just one row. Um, and then how wide? Well, it's 12 months wide. Okay. We close parentheses, close parentheses a second time for the, the sum function, and we hit enter. And we confirm that by coming here to our sum. And sure enough, that's the same value. Now here's the trick. Let's see if it worked going right. So we sum it over to the right. Oh, and look at that. Looks like it's worked. Uh, we can confirm that it's worked, though, uh, by coming, let's just do uh, a quick if. We want to ask, is this equal to this? And it gives us a true, which means they're the same. And let's just try that for all the months. And yes, they're the same. So this has worked. It's identical to the sum if. And then we do the same thing. We're just going to copy this down to the end. Those worked good. Do a little cleanup here. Remove, oops. Clean up there. Remove essentially our empty cells. And there you go. So that's our the second technique for converting monthly cash flows to annual cash flows. This technique being a sum co combined with the offset function. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me either by email, LinkedIn. Uh, you can comment either here on the YouTube video or on uh, the post itself. I'll include a link to this template so you can see the formulas firsthand. And uh, as always, thank you for your time.